Good morning, it's Matt Bisogno here from Tennis Profits and uh, a few more little updates to make you aware of. Um, some of them you'll have spotted this morning, no doubt. Uh, the first of them is kind of in your face uh, on the All Matches tab. You can see that we've now added the nationality of uh, the players. Um, so for instance, we now know, if we didn't already, that uh, Danielle Rose Collins is from the USA, Elise Mertens is from Belgium and so on. Um, Obviously, that would have been very helpful to have that in place in time for the Olympics, uh, but it will be in situ hereafter. So that is um, the first thing. If we go into a match, we can see a few additional um, small elements that will be helpful, I hope. Um, we've got, if we're looking at the match records, um, until this small change, the date column was in a sort of a greyer colour like the odds the odds column and um, date is quite important in terms of um, when players have played each other and so on so we've just made that a bit clearer uh, we've also and you may not be able to see this um, until later today or tomorrow but we have uh, we have made the head-to-head -head data in line so currently on live it looks like this. The the winners match is shown on the uh, on that player's side. So in this case, Garcia. Um, and when you've got a, a series of matches, it's a bit higgledy piggledy across uh, zigzagging across the screen, and it's a bit difficult to see um, the chronology. In other words, um, when a certain player was dominant over the other player, if that is the case. So we've just uh, centralize that, um, put it in the middle so we can now see in a single column that, um, for instance, these two players haven't played for a number of years, so this is kind of irrelevant anyway, but when they did play, we could see that the matches were fairly close together uh, and it was one all. So that's something that, um, <laughs> this is obviously a very bad example to use, but that, that will be useful for those of you looking at head-to-head -head data when there is a, more than a couple of matches in that sample size. Um, the more material uh, change, perhaps, is down in the filters section. We've added last 10 and last 30 to these for the date ranges. So uh, obviously that's not quite a date range because the last 10 could have been over two years um, or, or indeed over um, uh, 20 days. Um, well, maybe 30 days anyway. So if we select last 10 um, and click the apply filters, unsurprisingly we're going to see 10 matches in the sample likewise if we select last 30 we're going to see 30 matches. thing to note at the moment if you select uh, one of these two last 10 last 30 and also one of the other filters let's say um, this match is on a hard court so let's say we selected hard court as well click apply um, we've got only the hard court matches in the last 30 so these numbers here 13 and 16 obviously they are not 30 matches now we're going to change that in the next day or two um, hopefully today but um, certainly this week if we can um, <clears throat> such that when you select last 10 or last 30 you will get 10 matches or 30 matches and uh, regardless of what your other um, your other filter selections are now the caveat to that of course is that a player may not have played um, 30 matches against the other filters that you've uh, you've included so if, if that's the case then you'll see a smaller number than last 30 or last 10 but in most cases for most established players um, with most filter combinations you'll see the full 30 or 10 in a day or two Okay, so that's all for this short update. Um, as I say, I've got lots more coming soon and um, we're very excited to share that with you in due course. Uh, if you've got any questions, please do let us know and we'll be happy to help. Matt Bazzania saying thank you for watching and goodbye for now.